The truce in Ukraine has held for almost two weeks now and although sporadic artillery fire can still be heard, the ceasefire has been enough for many locals to emerge from bomb shelters and return to their homes. However, in many cases, there's not much left of those homes, as Artis Roman Kosarev found out. Yula is one of the uh, few refugees who decided to come back here to Yesenovata. And just like uh, many local residents uh, who live here, they found their house is uh, devastated. Uh, a shell fell right into this house. And uh, you can see uh, the fragments of uh, uh, the uh, the ceiling have fallen on the floor. If you take a look on the floor right now, you can see it's, it's practically impossible to uh, live here. And uh, if you follow me into the children's uh, bedroom, The fact that they were away during the shelling probably saved their lives. I need to repair my house. I wish the shooting would stop. I have three young children and I don't want to be doing this over and over again. This is one of the more affected areas in the town of Isenovata. We can still hear the sounds of shelling here and there. We can still hear uh, fighting going on. And this is one of the more damaged uh, buildings uh, here. And uh, residents seem to be returning here right now. And they find this place in complete uh, devastation. And actually, I found uh, one to speak with. We were hiding in the basement for a week. Some of us just lost our nerve and we fled the city, driving through the artillery fire. Those residents of Yesenovata who decided to stay here in the city during the most uh, violent bombing are forced to live in uh, bomb shelters like uh, this one here. This is where they eat, this is where they sleep, this is where uh, they go to the bathroom uh, as well. And now there is uh, no bombing outside at this moment, but they're still too scared to go outside because they know what it can turn into. Yeah. Yes, there were shootings today. We were very scared because innocent people are dying, including children. One rescuer died. He was from the emergency ministry and was trying to protect us and save our city. He went home to feed his dogs. He was here with us, then left, and in two hours he was dead. He was killed on the square outside a shop. The humanitarian catastrophe is evident in everything that's in and around Yasinovataya. Sporadic fighting can still be heard here, but fortunately nothing's landed in the last 24 hours. Some see this as a good sign and hope permanent peace is just around the corner. Roman Kostrov, RT, Donetsk region, Ukraine.